super cool party people. It's pitch black out again because it's so early. It's like just seven or just after seven. It is so stormy outside. I was not expecting this. It is pouring rain and it's super windy. I can't really see it with the lights on, but I could definitely hear it. But yeah, I was not expecting this. I thought it was supposed to be nice today, so yay. My boss just left. I saw him depart on the boat, and so I'm down here in case the phone rings. Although if anybody phones us early, I don't like them. And um, I'm just gonna chill, watch some TV, have my breakfast drink, and get on some invoicing. Huh. So exciting. Our one group that was staying in the cabin is leaving right now, so Janice went to go help them get their stuff to their boat with the golf cart. It's like gale force winds in the street that's right behind us here. I just, ah, uh, like they have kids with them, so I'm sure the kids have to be back at school tomorrow. <laughs> but I told Janice, I'm like, if they want to stay, they can stay, we can accommodate. Um, but it looks like they want to get out of here anyway. And then our other cabin guy, I believe he's leaving today. That's his plan, at least. We'll see. Maybe he'll change because of the weather. Uh, yeah, fun times. The bosses are coming back today. It's like, hey, you just came back from Spain where it was nice and warm. Welcome back to this. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of fun. I'm working on invoicing still. Again, I don't, I think last time I said I was about to, so I'm working on it now. It's, it's a lot to unpack right now, but I think I'm doing... All right, I just need to have the patience for it. I should probably also call the kids and check on them, make sure they're alive and awake and feeding themselves and all that fun stuff. Cause I don't wanna, I was gonna walk over, but I don't wanna. <laughs> and at some point I should check when Strudel's mom left and let the dogs out, so <sighs> rude. It is raining so hard. It is stupid. I just got in my rain gear because I thought our one cabin was checking you out. He just left on his boat, so I guess he's not checking out quite yet. And um, so I figured I might as well go check on the dogs while I'm out. It is, it's terrible. This is like, I don't know if you can really see, but it's like a waterfall down here. Ugh. Anyway, I'm out now, so it's nice to have a break from invoicing because I was going a little bit stir crazy there. Everything is puddles. <sighs> and it's, uh there's gale force winds happening. Ugh. <laughs> That's my general consensus. Anyways, I'm gonna go let the strudel and the lucky out. And um, then I think I'm gonna go back inside and shelter in place. <laughs> safely inside where it is so warm this is so nice compared to outside like I walked down the stairs there and it's very protected until you get out in front of the building and it was just like Ksh! and then when I was going around the store it hit me again and I was like ah! but I got strudel out she put on her rain jacket and then she came back and when I called and took off her rain jacket and then wanted to go back outside but I wouldn't let her lucky was just not having it as lucky tends to not do she doesn't yeah she doesn't might she loves to be outside when it's moderate to mo like, you know, when it's not too bad. But in weather like this, she just doesn't even want to go outside at all. So, you know, let her let her do her thing, I guess. Uh, I'm dry again. Thank thankfully, I brought rain pants and a rain jacket. Two rain jackets, actually, technically. And um, back to invoicing. It's like... I really don't want to go outside, so I don't want people to show up. And actually, somebody was on the fuel dock, but Janice saw them because she was going down to check on the boat that was leaving, and she saw them there, so that worked out well. And um, they're, they were very nervous about making the crossing to where they're going today because there are gale force winds in effect, which is like, I think it said like 35 to 40 knots. <laughs> Fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm very content to be inside today. It is Sunday, so shouldn't be too too crazy of like having to go outside hopefully i'll have to go outside at least one more to close out the tab for the guy that's staying in the cabin unless he decides to stay an extra day but i'll still have to go see him to find that out but hopefully i should be able to just live on this couch for at least a couple hours again <laughs> yeah i like i checked on the kids but i didn't even go over there i just called them like he's still alive did you eat what you doing 
Okay, cool. Because, ugh. Classic. Classic. I had just taken everything off, all my rain gear, vlogged about how excited I was to be back inside where it's warm, and then the radio went and I had to go down and do fuel. And now I'm in the store because I have to check our cabin dude out. I, I feel like a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man a little bit, to be honest, but it's all good. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of math here. Checks out. <laughs> and then when he comes to check out, we'll be all good, but yeah. Fun times, I am so damp. And I'm getting hungry as well, so that's no fun, but what can you do? Alrighty, so my other bosses have arrived back. It is really funny because I knew that they had to leave, they were getting picked up and they had to leave there at three o'clock, which means they would be here at about 3.20. So at just about 3.07, I was like, okay, in a couple minutes, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm gonna get the gator, bring it down to the end of the dock. And I look outside and I see the boat and it's like right there. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> and so I'm like spastically trying to get my rain gear on because obviously it was still pouring. And then I, I'm like trying to get clothes on and then they radio we're like hey can we get some wheels to the end of the dock and I'm like yeah like I'm going to get that right now <laughs> but it was like panic and then obviously Janice was using the golf cart which is usually at the back door for us so I had to go get the gator which is like halfway across the property <sighs> so that was fun but it has stopped raining now and it's actually really pretty especially right over there I don't know why it looks so pretty like some really cool colors over there I don't know anyway they are all doing dinner at the other side of the property tonight you know because it's nice for people to not have to cook when they come back from a long trip and then after that me and the polling clerk are going to set up the polling station as much as we can obviously we can't leave ballots there and we can't leave voter lists and all that stuff but we'll set up the table and we'll put the here's where to vote signs because I don't think anybody's going to be coming in and um yeah, so that's what we're looking at, and I'm just watching the end of this Halloween Wars, and I want to see who wins, but yeah, it's been an alright day, and oh my goodness, I have done so much invoicing, I've done like an entire week, which is amazing, but also, oh, my brain hurts, I don't want to do any more computer work today, so I'm just not going to. Anyways, I'm going to get back to watching this, because I need to know who won. tired and also bad at vlogging wallet I needed it for a thing it is quarter to 11 I have to be up and like at the polling station which granted is like a three minute walk away by like probably quarter after six at the latest we set up everything that we could tonight um like we got all the forms laid out I signed all the ballots because I had to, so I came home and I did that. And we put up all the vote here signs, so like, we're as set up as we can be. There's stuff that we have to do the day of, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. But for now, we're doing all right. I'm really tired and I'm just, woo. Um, I mean, the nice thing is, is it's probably gonna be a pretty chill day tomorrow. The sucky thing is, is this could be a long day. It's a 12, 
it's over a 12 hour day because it's 12 hours of polling and um, we're, we're the only ones. So obviously we'll be able to sneak away to have breaks, like to eat lunch or something, but yeah, we do have a doorbell in the store too. So does that work? Can you make somebody ring a doorbell to vote? I don't know. Anyway, with that, I think I need to go to sleep and get as much sleep as I can. So I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along into this adventure. And I'll see you tomorrow when I do very similar things. Actually, I'm not really sure what we're going to do because, like, I can't really vlog while I'm doing a confidential election thing. So we'll see. Good night.